think Elon Musk the Antichrist? <laughs> <laughs> yo, I was just gonna, yo, thank God, because we had to address the elephant. You know what <laughs> the mean? elephant in the room. <laughs> like, that shit was probably the biggest elephant in the room, dog. <sighs> we, I don't know how come you didn't talk about it. Yeah, no, because uh, for the people that commented, oh, you guys, why didn't you guys talk about it? That, we record, that was fresh. Yeah, we record in advance. That that probably dropped, like, the same day we recorded that yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. And we, we've had our discussions, and I, I'm still standing on it. Ryan is actually going through some shit. Like, okay, this is this is where we're gonna break it down. Yeah, yeah, let's break it down. Because there's three theories, fam. Mm. So everybody knows what's going on with Ryan Garcia. Yeah. Everybody's saying like, oh, maybe he has a mental breakdown. Some people are saying like, oh, he's just making this shit up. Yep. Some people are saying like, he's actually trapped in some Illuminati type some shit. Some spiritual warfare. Some spiritual warfare. Yeah. Which happens. Yeah. So this shit happens, and we obviously seen before with like other celebrities, Kanye, mm -hmm. and I'm saying mm -hmm. this stuff is real, but there's one thing, and this is my take on it. Okay. This is what I thought at first, at least. Yeah. So Ryan Garcia, why is he in the news? Because of that, right? Mm -hmm. But why was he in the news before that? Why was he in the news before that? Why was he? Because his fight. Okay. Before his fight, though, did you hear about him? After Tank... Tanks fight probably not a lot. Not yeah. a lot, right? Yeah. So, okay, this is like obviously I don't want to discredit nothing if he because he probably is going through some real shit. Yeah. But this is just the first theory. Mm -hmm. Theory number one: Ryan Garcia is saying all this stuff for marketing. Marketing. Tech, he might okay. be playing the part. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just saying this is a theory mm -hmm. people are saying. Now, if you take it in like this, yeah. I can see. Why they like if he had managers or whatever, yeah. why they would want to do that because to if you, promote to promote the fight, not only, but if you bag it, let's say, let's say you're a fighter, right? Yeah, and you're still not sure if you're gonna win that fight, <laughs> so you go man. No, if you bag it though, like if if he loses, right? Uh -huh. If he loses, you can always say, Yo, I was in the right state of mind to take on that fight, okay? Like, easy excuse, yeah, like understandable, yeah, we get you, feel me. Mm. And then now the loss doesn't seem as bad. But if he was just, you know what I mean, training, training as hard as blah, blah, blah. If he loses this fight, yeah. what happens after that? He low-key just... If he loses. Yeah, if he loses. If he loses and there was no, like, manic stuff going on. Yeah, then nothing will happen, probably. He low-key, like, kind of dropped down yeah. in ratings with... He would just become more relevant, on. to be honest. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? But... That's just one theory. And you can see, like, this type of manipulating goes a lot with everywhere. Yo, they fake relationships with movies coming out. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Like, I'm pretty sure Tobey Maguire and uh, what's her name? Kristen Dunst, when they were doing Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't really, really like each other like that. But PR. they took pictures and made it seem like they're dating. Yeah. Just so they can boost the ratings of the film. Just so everybody would go tune into the film. And just like the Ryan Garcia fight, yeah. you can't tell me you're not going to watch it right now, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. You want to figure out how it ends, mm -hmm. feel me? Like, everybody's so curious. But it's it's weird because it's like, okay, Ryan Garcia is also a big influencer, right? Yeah. 10 million. He has all the money and fame probably in the world by now after that tank fight, mm. right? Why would he... Why would he um, like, even uh, not marketing aside, why would he even uh, go from where he is now and risk it all just to expose something? And mm. and back... We yeah, even, that's that's what's interesting. Yeah, we know, like, the Bohemian Grove, all that stuff has been proven before. That's so, real. Yeah. That shit is real. So, the Bohemian Grove that yeah. Ryan Garcia is talking about, so this is a, this is a place where literal presidents, mm -hmm. senators, people of great power, fucking billionaires yeah. meet up in the middle of a forest and what do they do they go line up around a big wooden yeah. owl oh my God, light it on fire and pretend they're lighting and doing sacrifices with like children mm -hmm. which is up. yeah i've been I mean, through the rabbit hole it, it gets it's dark. crazy it's crazy yeah. and this all came to light because of alex jones mm -hmm. and he has a podcast like a whole conspiracy podcast i've seen that yeah but he's been blacklisted by everything and he's banned off youtube everything everywhere else yeah. but the reason it came to light was because he took videos and he like broke it down what's going on and all of these people that were there mm -hmm. you no know, they're all fucking like billionaires they're all famous people yeah. and that's why it's so scary so ryan garcia said recently i think it was on 
Twitter. He was on Twitter, right? Yeah, he's been going crazy on Twitter. He was on Twitter live stream with 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 Top G. Yeah, yeah. And he was pretty much saying like, "Yo, they took me and they made me watch, watch like yeah. stuff with the children like they're doing." And it gets fucked because it's like what Andrew Tate said because he didn't just allow him to say it. Yeah, you know what I mean? He said. Uh, Ryan, I've been through it. They can touch me. They can touch you because they touched me. Mm-hmm. And you know how they silence Top G. Mm-hmm. I mean, so he knew he knows what's going on. So he's not saying, Ryan, go ahead. Yeah. You know I mean, so that's said, when it gets fucked. He stopped him. He said, okay, wait. Yeah. Because the, the path, road, the path yeah. they're going to go down is <laughs> really scary. Yeah. You don't really want to go down that path. Exactly. That's what he told him. Mm-hmm. Which is understandable because this shit is real. Like, it's not, yeah. it's not no games. It's not fake. Like, this shit actually happens. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing, like, if if it really did, did, did happen to him, would he want to, like, say that and risk everything else? See, we don't, we, we we're don't not know. Right. Yeah. We don't know. That's why but I thing. mean, look, yo, big us on him because he has a lot of faith in God. Exactly. And then he always says, like, yo, I'm, um, they can't touch me because of God. They can't do this because of God, yeah. this and that. And like, yeah, which is, which is a valid point. But at the same time, there are physical things that can like be moved into play around him yeah. and his team, whatever. Now, you saw that video where, the, where he was wearing the crown. Yeah, yeah. What's your take on that? It was like mocking how they're mocking how they already got him and they're already mocking him because they forced some guy to say something that he didn't want. You know what? That's you know what it looked take. like? What? So it looked exactly like what happened in the Hunger Games with you Peter. Seen? With Peter, yeah. yeah. He even yo, when I saw it, that's exactly what I thought of. Exactly, it and was you, him if, in the same suit. Exactly, the white, the white um uh, suit that he uh, he walked on the, yeah. the horse with. Exactly, it was weird. Now what they're saying, what Ryan Garcia is saying, actually, mm. is pretty much telling everybody like, yo, they're gonna try and crucify me. They're gonna make me look like, uh, yo, this is what happens to everyone that stands against us. This and that because you say Jesus so much, we're gonna treat you like how Jesus was. Mm-hmm. And did you bag this? What? Like, before any of this happened, literally the day before he went on his rant, he did a promotion. What was it? And he walked in on a what? On a horse. On a horse. How did yeah. Jesus walk into Jerusalem? On a horse. Yeah. Yeah. I have the, I, bro, <laughs> I, I have this um, Bible scripture because they said that this was what it was based off. It said, so Revelation 6, 2, he said, and I looked and behold a white horse. He, he it was sat, a white horse. He who sat on it and ha- and had a bow and a crown was given to him. And he went out conquering and to conquer. Ryan is the only one really going out right now to, to prove everyone wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it makes sense why he's doing it. Because if the, the elites mm-hmm. want to kill him off, then we're all, all the public's going to know that, oh, this shit is real. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So the only way that we can prove it is after his fight, like you said, if he continues it. Yeah, that's so, the thing. So if he wins and he continues the maniac, oh, this shit is real. I go lie. <laughs> but if he loses and he's like, oh, never mind, uh, and he continues, maybe we don't we don't know. It's it's a coin toss at this. It's point. It's a coin toss because yeah. yo, I don't know if you guys knew, but I I was following Ryan Garcia before, and he yeah. actually took a break from boxing. Mm-hmm. But when he took a break from boxing, he was going through some mental issues, yeah. and he said like, yo, I have to take a break. I've been going through some stuff. Mm-hmm. Boom, out of boxing. Yeah. So. There's a history of that, feel me? Like, yeah. he probably has some shit going on. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, bro, I'm sure the people that love him and, and like, are taking care of him, yeah, they would kind of, like, let him know, like, yo, maybe this isn't the path to go on. Because, cause, yo, like, y- when he said the proof thing, like, oh, I have proof of this stuff, like, yep. where where is it, though? Yeah, that you is get me? Th- this is, okay, this is single, single-handedly... The reason I think it was kind of fabricated Mm -hmm. was because he posted a video. I don't know if you remember, but it was on his Instagram and it was him like running through a hallway and it said, we got him, 666, blah, 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 blah. They posted that. That's what it was supposed to be? Yeah. That's like, oh, we, we, like on Twitter too, it's like, oh yeah, we got him. I know, but that's on, so bag this though, that's on Snapchat. Yeah. And then posted to Instagram. Fam, this is the, on some shit. Yeah. On some like, uh, don't talk to me. I'm 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 about to I'm about to leave social media type shit. You know what I mean? Like it's kind of it's kind of giving that vibe where you know when your homies <laughs> post that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And on, like, on, Snapchat, on? on Snapchat, like, oh, uh, I'm gonna be off here. Just text me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean though? Like, yeah. okay, no discredit because it might be true. Like this, this he definitely is going through some stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't want to 
I don't want to like discredit that because fuck, fam. Yeah. Like you can definitely in that video where he was talking and saying I'm only gonna be talking about boxing this and that. Mm -hmm. It's either he's really, really fucked up, like he's hurt and they're hurting him. Yeah. Or he's really good at acting. I can't tell. Mm, I know. I don't know like this whole thing. But the only thing that I really started when I started to believe that he's everything saying he's true is because back then, like uh, I think it was before Tank's fight, he went on an interview. And you know those times where it's like you're trying to tell somebody something, but like very discreet. Like how you say oh, uh, this is uh, blank theory, do your own research. But people don't get it, right? Mm -hmm. You want to hear what he said? What he said? Because I have the interview. Like, this is 11 months ago before uh, Tank's fight. Ready? Lighting in moments, you want to scream it out to everybody. And you want to tell everybody what you discovered. The situation, you put people in a cave, right? Or Allegory of the cave. Cave, right? Oh, I remember this. I saw this up on the podcast. The they knew. And then one guy escaped it. And then he was able to see the light. So he's talking about himself. From, and he discovered the truth uh, outside of that cave. Then he went back and tried to tell those people, yo, there's this out there. And they looked at him like a madman. See? All right. So theory number two. Yeah. Theory number two. <clears throat> Ryan Garcia is dead ass being under spiritual warfare. Yeah. I believe that. Under attack by the Illuminati, the elites, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Yo. When you get to a certain level of fame, fame, fortune, fortune and all of these things, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he said, this is what's crazy. Mm -hmm. So before, before he started going like super crazy on Instagram, mm -hmm. he posted something. He posted, I think it was just like a regular picture, but the caption is what caught my eye. Okay, what was he the said, caption? I will be a billionaire soon. That's what he said. He okay. said, I will be a billionaire soon. Who wants proof? Blah, blah, blah. blah. You'll mm -hmm. see. Okay, why would be he, why would he be so confident like that would be a billionaire soon? Yeah. What did he do? What did he do, Gavin, that made him believe he's gonna be a millionaire very soon? Yeah, we don't know. There's some deals that go on. Yeah. That they say, okay, we'll give you this X amount of money, where you have to turn over what you talk about. You have to turn over who you are. You have to turn over what you're gonna promote. What if there was those details weren't hashed out with him? Yeah. I mean, what if he got caught into something where he has to like, you know, Fact. how would you retaliate? Yeah. You and would probably retaliate as such as he's been doing. Exactly. And I like what this is what also makes me believe that everything he's saying is true. When he tweeted out, um, uh, you can't really sell your soul. God has your soul. So mm. it's like there was nothing to sell in the the first place. And if you did However you did, you can get it back by turning to God. Mm -hmm. That makes sense, fam. Look at uh, Black China. She's trying to go back to God. Gideon. Yeah. Why is everybody trying to come back right now? You know what I mean? It's, it's because this is the time where the attacks are going on. Exactly. It, it's it's now the time because it's like almost... um, I don't want to call it this, but you, it's literally like the reaping. Yeah. Where, and they talk about it in the Bible. Mm -hmm. They separate the good from the bad. They separate which what side will go with what. Yeah. And the tests commence. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the tests really commence. It's like Marvel, DC. What side are you yeah. on? Yeah. And you see whose side people are taking. The, the one that really got me curious though was yeah. like, yay. Like what's going on with him, fam? Yeah. Because I like, don't know. He, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know no up, more. He's teaming up with Cardi. Which Cardi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, We bro. know that. And that, Trav. Yeah. Which is, which is weird. But but isn't Trav on the good side though? That's but, what but I he's think. Like, but it's like it's lingering. That's <laughs> he's exactly like on the what line. I'm <laughs> That's exactly what I'm saying. It's almost so. Let's say you have a homie. Yeah. That we're still, are you still gonna be homies with him? Probably not, <laughs> bro. Not, bro. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, yeah. Feel me? So I don't. But know. it's weird because then Ye will be like on live stream and say, "Oh, do you believe in Jesus though?" This and that. Mm -hmm. With the hell star, you saw that? Yeah, wait, wait, like, wait. stuff like that. Fam, yo, you know that how how just off that sentence, the brand started decreasing. Oh, there I'm not like, surprised. Yeah, on the, on the sales, it was I think it was like maybe fifty to seventy five percent. After Ye says, "Oh, what do you got on hell star?" Oh, but you believe in Jesus, fam. That video alone, yeah, almost put out that brand, bro. That's <laughs> yeah. so crazy. Cause. At the end of the day, God will win. Feel me? Yeah. And then anytime there's these things that are trying to capitalize on 
evil or capitalizing on shit of the temptation and the stuff that it's a quick it's a quick burn away yeah you know what i mean there's pleasure there but it burns away fast mm -hmm. that stuff isn't everlasting and yeah. that's the stuff we'll, we'll see we'll have a huge buzz mm -hmm. but we'll just linger away and then you'll see the next one pop off because they try another one yeah and they try another one that's why they have to do different celebrities when they do facts. these things uh-huh and i i this is if if it proves to be true, you know how a lot of people that um that talk about God and Christ, like they're very silent and they just fall off and never go on to that next level because they didn't sell their soul, mm. right? If Ryan Garcia loses, then fam, and if he falls into irre irrelevancy, I feel like, yeah, this whole shit is real no matter what though because he was trying to pro proclaim something. He fell off because he didn't want to join the other team that would have put him up. You yeah, I, I mean? get you, I get you. You get what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's tough, bro. It is tough. This whole thing is crazy. The, the thing like, is, I just wish you would drop the proof. That's it. Yeah. That's it, fam. Like, and what's really fucked up, if he does use this all this stuff and it was fake, it's fucked to be using God's name. That's exactly what I'm saying. So there's so, no way. That's the problem I have with it. And people are probably wondering like in the beginning why I'm like, yo, he's probably faking it, this and that. It's because there's something about it with, with, that irks me is like... If you're going to be saying all this stuff, it better be true. Yeah. It better be true. I want to see, like, actual things being moved. Mm -hmm. Because if you're just faking this shit, that's messed up, yo. Yeah, exactly. That's messed up. Yeah. To, to get everybody to really, really, like, send you love your way to do these things. That's why I hope it's not fake. <laughs> it's like something, like, you would never believe a person would do to get to those stages. You I know. know what I mean? But that's... The thing is, that's what you would call... True deception. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh and that's God. what that side is known for, fam. A lie? Let's come on, bro. Yo, like, <laughs> imagine fucking, uh, okay, perfect scenario. Ryan Garcia wins, right? Yeah. The trumpets go off. No, the, <laughs> the second trumpet goes off as soon as Devin Haney gets knocked out. <laughs> then I know this shit is true. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my gosh, bro. Yo, imagine okay, leave down in the comments because I want you guys to tap in what you guys think. Yeah. Cause I'm very curious. I'm still I'm still like here and there on on things. Because one side of me is the is the conspiracy Carlos. Yeah. Conspiracy Carlos, I'm diving deep. It's cool. I'm yeah. looking at everything. I'm looking at it. I'm keeping it very open minded. Other Carlos, the rational Carlos is looking at it. Okay, this is what we have. This is what's been proven to be. Mm -hmm. And this is what he has been able to prove. Yeah. What he has been able to prove so far is he's definitely having some problems. There's something not right. And he definitely needs help. Like, that's yeah. that's what's literally on the table. Like, he probably just needs help. Mm -hmm. But if that's not true, and this is just all for more, yeah. and it's all for attention and something like that. I'll be disappointed. Oh, man. Yeah. That's, that's, like, dark. Yeah, that's very dark. Going that path is crazy. That's dark. Yeah. But it's cool, but it's weird because like how you said, you don't know which side Travis Scott is on because I think remember in your TikTok you were saying, oh, there's gonna be like the four people that that go off. The yeah, 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 so, yeah. So so it's either Kanye. I don't know if he's still. On I don't that even team. know no more. Ryan bro. Garcia. Uh, you said I think you said Justin Bieber was Justin Bieber. Justin another? Bieber, yeah, yeah. Justin Bieber, another one. God. So yeah, it can't be four because there would be already been four. So Travis is definitely taking off that. Uh, so I don't know if, um, like that's the thing oh you gotta tell this yeah you see his tattoo on his hand oh yeah the, the, eye? the eye was that new or not nah? it's been new there. what yeah that's a new tat but bag this yeah but bag this okay theory number three okay ready <laughs> yeah theory number three Ryan Garcia signs the Illuminati sold his soul whatever yeah that's why he's going through all this shit and then now he's trying to break free from it but mm. because he signed away. Yeah. Like I was saying the, oh, I'm going to be a billionaire watch. Mm -hmm. Why does he have the, the eye tattoo? But he came out with a video recently. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, a couple of days ago. He said, yo, this, don't even worry about this. And he goes, that side, the evil side, mm -hmm. what they try to do, they try to take what's God and make it theirs. Which is true. True. It's a valid point. It's like, they try to, they try to symbolize things that are actually of God, yeah. but make it, you know, bad, mm -hmm. which is fair. But at the same time, if you know that's what it's about, would you really make that? No. <laughs> you wouldn't, right? No. I swear you wouldn't. That's you not, know what I mean? <laughs> like, it's common sense. Yeah, man. like, bro's trying to get, like, on, onto a yeah. over-your-head type of thing. Oh He's my. trying to Spider-Man wrath it. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but, like, at the same time, like, people are going to see, yo, that looks like a Illuminati tattoo. Yeah. 
Is it not? No, you know what's crazy? I just really bagged it. Like, if he really wore the Christ crown and this whole thing is just fake. It's not false. actually a Christ crown, you know that, oh, right? What is it? What is it? That's actually it, it's more it's more so a crown of what the ancient Romans would wear, the emperors would wear. Okay. So it has the fruits. So Caesar or whoever, like the emperor would, yeah. the one that eats the grapes and shit. He's wearing one of those, bro. Okay. That's not a crown of thorns. I thought it was. No. Because if you I look th- close, it's not. It's oh. what kings and emperors and the people that lie down and eat grapes wear. Fuck. So he's he's trying to mock it then. We don't know, fam. No, no. We don't he, know. That's if he's the trying thing. to mock it, that's so crazy. I don't know. Yeah. And that's the problem I have with it. Yeah. You know? It's weird. But yeah, back to the Travis Scott thing. There was um uh, this person who AI'd, mm-hmm. like... He typed into the AI. Did you see this? What hell would be? And oh, it, and it looked like Travis Scott. Damn, yeah, look, just look it looked like Astro World, right? Oh my god, I have to show this to the people. Hold on. It was the head, I think. Oh no, it was the arms. What? No. Look, look, look. This, this is fuck. Okay, so this is what uh, he typed into the AI. Asked AI to show what hell is. Yo, that's literally what I was talking about with the Travis theory, bro. Fam, it's it's a depiction of a modern day concert. What we're all at our phones like yeah. this, and we're all squished together. Yo, that's ex- remember what I was saying. I was saying with the Travis Scott theory with the yeah. arms, the ten arms. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's part of that. It looks like that. Oh, it shit. looks like the arms reaching out, fam. I'd even bag that one. Holy. And God. then remember on the the merch, it had like a portal. Yeah, and then they're all reaching out of it. Oh. Yeah, bro. That's what yeah, it is, man. Confirmed. Travis is not That's what I'm on saying, bro. Because I want to give him the benefit of the doubt where it could just be his team doing this stuff. Mm. But at the, but you're the artist, no? Yeah. Also, like, have you seen Travis Scott's stories? No. I don't follow him. No? Whoa, whoa what, what is he just saying? <laughs> These bros is high. Like, yeah. <laughs> just- See, it's scary because at this time, they're revealing everything. Because remember last time, was it the Oscars where um, Will Smith got sw- slapped? Yeah. Yeah, so... 2024 Oscars. Did you see the humiliation it was, ritual? It was the humiliation of John yeah, Cena. With John Cena. And no, it goes way back. There's a past because back when John Cena, I think it was last year, 2023, he showed up in public with uh, dresses. He oh, would put, word. He would put makeup on and he would have wigs of him in ponytails. Damn. So it's not just been that humiliation ritual right there. It's been a long That's kind of crazy. Time. What's what's really interesting too yeah. is he's just been recently getting a lot of roles. Exactly, you know? exactly. Just recently getting hella roles in movies. Bam, and there was um uh this video that a fan showed me of his OnlyFans. He doesn't do nothing sexual on there, but he's just showing like these two bath bombs, right? And it was kind of like the the Ryan Garcia video when it just didn't look like he wanted to do it. Like oh. he was like very emphasized, like he was showing it like why why is he look maniac right now? Yeah, you know what I mean so. And they made him walk naked in front of his ex-wife during the ceremony. So what? What's more humiliating than that? They just <sighs> all the celebrities plus him. See, because we know we know those are their things. Yeah. The, the humiliation rituals and stuff. But also, that's that's something they would use for marketing. Like mm. it goes hand in hand. Yeah. So at the same time, it's like we know that's what they do. But also, this is what this is what they need to do yeah, numbers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If we didn't hear about the John Cena. Did you even watch Oscar? I didn't even watch no, Oscars man. either. But I heard about that yeah, shit. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's what I'm saying, No, bro. yo, there's this crazy... Oh, I don't know how this slipped over everyone's heads, too. So during the Super Bowl, there was a commercial mm-hmm. about a secret celebrity island. Did you see which, this, fam? Which one? Fam. And no, this is not the regular celebrities. There was cameos of every celebrity that died. What the fuck? So it would be a girl uh, passing around beer... Tupac would be there. What the fuck? Wait, what is this? Uh, hold on. And then, uh, do you know Marilyn Manson? Yeah. He would be in there too. Wait, Damn. Marilyn Manson's alive, Oh, no, no. no, no. Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe, my fault. Yeah, yeah, Marilyn Monroe would be in there too. Fam, so there would be a ship in the commercial where it would go close to the island and the guy with the binoculars would be like, who's that, everyone? And mm. Bruce Lee would come out of nowhere and ring the bell. <laughs> what the fuck? Everybody on the island, shut, shut it down. Go into your hiding places. The, the binocular zooms in. Oh, captain says, nobody's on that island. Fam. Damn. How did this slip by everyone? Wait, this is a Super Bowl commercial? Yes, you want me to show Let it Let me you? see. Oh, my God. Hold on. You'll, you'll just see the camels and laugh, fam. I didn't see this, actually. Look, 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 look. And try to name all the celebrities. Ready? That's Elvis. Yeah? Tupac. Tupac. 
I forgot the name of this guy right here. Hold on, that's coming up. That's Marilyn Monroe, probably. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe. Hold on, hold on. Who's that? Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain, fam. Wait, who's beside him? I don't know. Uh, John Lennon. That's John Lennon? <laughs> yeah. Fuck, bro. And then look, Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is yeah. crazy. I'm telling you. Look, they start hiding. The, the whole Yo, island. that's weird. That's the, a weird commercial. Damn, they don't Why would know you make that commercial? That's weird. I don't know. Like, did the families allow that? Did the families of the thing allow that? At, at this point, people really just... It just flies over their head. That's why it's we. It's people like us. You'll probably only know it because we told you. you know that's the. I mean? That's the thing, right? Like, yeah. I. I think. I think there's a. There's a culture of hiding shit in plain sight. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's almost as if um, they wanna. You know what the though? The karma. You know what though? I think. I think it's become so brainwashed in us that even artists like to do that anyway. Because mm. we like to. We like to leave it and then oh you didn't get it oh true. You, you see it it's there yeah. but you didn't see it and then on the level of okay what if you're trying to trap them and shit now it becomes on a different level of satisf satisfaction because like oh yeah i, I got him but yeah. he doesn't even know it like yeah, remember when uzi said on the stage he said yo all you guys you already heard the song a million times you already <laughs> done sight, fam. come <laughs> That's on that's fucked bro. That's yeah. what the fact that you get trapped in these things mm -hmm. and it was your choice. Yeah. That's where it goes bad. Yeah, I feel like no, because it's all about intention. Like if you don't really want to to go to that side, then don't. You know, what I mean, no one's forcing you to. Like, there's a lot of temptations, but I do believe that spiritual warfare is real, though. Yeah, guarantee. You. No, that's yeah. that's definitely real. That's been a thing. Yeah, that's definitely my theory, too is a lot of these people that go through really, really hard times mm -hmm. and they decide to do terrible acts of evil, whether it be like mass, you know, killings yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. I think it's dead ass because of spiritual Spirit things. Yeah, because like, what else? Like entities, spirits and shit like that where the evil seeps in because they're going exactly. through tough times. Remember, I, I talked about literally the other episode. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the people where their frequency is low and... They can't harm the paranormal you. investigator. He literally yeah. said, "Yo, like, it it can go into it's people fucked. at a low vibration. Yeah. But if you keep your vibration high, if you're always praying and you're doing these things, like, they yeah. can't really get to you. Mm -hmm. But the ones that are hurt or the ones that are going through stuff, there's the ones that can like seep in. Yeah. Now, let's bring us back to Gar Ryan Garcia. Would you say he's in a low vibrational state? Yes, bro. He's Loki. He's the most vulnerable to that. He's kind of vulnerable right now. Yeah. That's a thing." That's scary, bro. Especially like how we we always talk about how instead of the guns, fam, just go go to spirits. Like what could happen? But that's the worst. That's that Loki the worst. That's definitely the worst. Fam, remember that um that urban legend that I talked about uh in the American Horror Story, Papa Legba? Yeah, yeah. So there was a recent, super recent case that came out mm -hmm. where a girl tweeted out that she seen Papa Legba and tried to uh what do you call this? Like uh summon him from a ritual. Damn. Guess what happened after? What? Died two days after. Oh shit! So it was like, remember what the what was she doing? She just tried to summon. So remember the the robber doll. Yeah. And how the the girl in the museum was kind of fucking around with the robber doll. This was kind of the same shit. Damn. So this girl, I think, was um in a Facebook group, mm. and they practiced like these voodoo rituals, right? Yeah, yeah. And during this time, her and her girlfriend broke up. Mm. So she's like, the only way I can really get back is like try to kill her through voodoo damn so that's what, what she, yeah fuck? so she posted something on twitter where she made a uh you know those dolls the voodoo dolls that looked exactly like her girlfriend Man. you know what i mean and started burning it and everybody was like yo you, you shouldn't you should stop doing all this like this is not good and she had arguments with the hella people like bro you you believe in christianity do your own thing like let me do my own thing right so she said, fuck it, I'm going to just try and go for the big one. She said, I'm going to try and summon Papa Legba. Damn, what the... Two days after, she tweeted, I seen him, right? And she's gone. Fam, gone. Nobody knows how she died because no one has her medical files. Wait, wait, wait. So did they couldn't find, like, her body? Yeah, there's no, like, um... What would you call that? Like, when they have a whole medical report on who, when the person dies? Yeah, what, yeah, like a, like a autopsy. Autopsy, yeah. Everyone can't find that out because she's the only one that can really tell us how she died. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's because the, the supernatural family, you, yeah, gotta, you, you gotta be careful. You still. gotta be you gotta careful, be careful bro. Yeah. DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, 
plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else. One of my favorite games on the DraftKings Casino app is Roulette. I had some fun times playing Roulette on the DraftKings Casino app. It's my favorite game because it makes it super simple. All I do is usually just bet on red or black and you just have a fun time gambling. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code JUMPPOD, J-U-M-P-P-O-D. New players get an instant deposit match up to one hundred dollars in casino credits when you deposit five dollars or more that's code jump pod j-u-m-p-p-o-d only on DraftKings casino the crown is yours gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net in connecticut help is available for problem gambling call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org please play responsibly 21 plus physically present in connecticut michigan new jersey pennsylvania west virginia only void in ontario eligibility and other restrictions apply one per new customer must opt in and make minimum five dollar deposit within seven days 168 hours or 168 hours of registering new account max match 100 dollars in casino credits which require one-time playthrough within seven days 168 hours see terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024 so we all know those times where we're so hungry but we don't want to cook and we don't want to clean dishes so what's the solution well the best solution is always the Dash Pass by DoorDash. Looking to save on delivery? Well, Dash Pass is your door to $0 delivery fees and more on DoorDash. Dash Pass is the most affordable way to get anything in your area delivered right to your door. With $0 delivery fees and lower service fees on eligible orders, Dash Pass makes it easy to save on restaurants, groceries, retail items, and all your local favorites that deliver on DoorDash. Dash Pass pays for itself in two orders on average, making delivery even more worth it. Plus, Dash Pass gives you special access to exclusive promotions and member-only menu items, all for $9.99 a month. Get more from delivery for less. Sign up for Dash Pass today, only on DoorDash. Use code JUMPERS24 and get 50% off up to $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. Subject to change, terms may apply. Open the door to $0 delivery fees and more. Sign up for Dash Pass today, only on DoorDash, that's 50% off up to $10 value when you guys spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with code JUMPERS24, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, 24, subject to change, terms may apply. But you got to be careful with like real stuff too, fam. Did you see what happened to Joe Rogan? What happened with Joe Rogan? What happened to Joe Rogan? Recent? Joe Rogan was on a podcast with a killer, a serial killer across from him and and he did not know, bro. (laughs) Yo, I don't know the story. Yo, though. check I this don't out. Know the story. Okay, so, so <laughs> his name. Jokes. Check this out. <laughs> That's so jokes that we're talking about Joe Rogan. He's the true crime case. His name is Sheldon Johnson. Yeah. So Sheldon Johnson, he came on to the Joe Rogan podcast uh-huh. to preach about unfairness in the U.S. justice system, right? Because <laughs> yeah. he just got out of jail. You know, what I mean, saying like all these things about oh they're treating us bad, like this and that. Yeah. Which is true. Like, damn, you know, there's there, there should be work done on it, mm-hmm. but. For little him. did we know, little did we know, fam, <laughs> he had a severed head in his freezer. Oh my god! A torso he threw out in his garbage outside of his apartment, fam. Yeah. And you know what actually happened? So this was like not even not even that long ago from once he got released from jail. Yeah. His neighbors, his neighbors, they overheard. Please don't do this, please. And two gunshots, pop, pop. What the fuck? Yo, the neighbors were suspicious. They ended up looking at the surveillance camera mm. and they saw him moving out like a big bin. And this is where he had the torso of the body. Bro. Holy smoke. Bro really shot two people, Yeah. cut up the body and put it away. And yo, he did that and went, hopped on Joe Rogan's podcast. Wait, so he didn't get caught as soon as they he saw the f- he didn't footage? Get, he didn't get caught as soon as... No, he had time, fam. What? He was... He was like, nothing really happened. So he, that's he still real had that, Jeffrey Dahmer. He still had that shit in his freezer when he was on Joe Rogan, bro. Oh he was God. talking with Joe Rogan about all of these things. And he was a killer right in front of him. <laughs> Nobody knew. Wait, why did Joe Rogan have this specific person on though? Like, he was, was kind of interesting. He was actually a really good yes. Like oh, I okay, watched okay. a bit of the podcast. Yeah, yeah. He's a really good speaker. Could you tell though that he had something was suspicious or no? Like, 
Like there was no way a, a regular person listening to it would find out that I yeah, don't he know. would be a killer. I have no idea. That that's a great question. I would yeah. like to ask somebody. That's For, like, yeah, uh, if you guys watched it, l- let me know if there were any. Yeah, hits. let me. Yeah, let us know if there's any clues you can see. <laughs> but the thing is too, because yeah. somebody that could that could kill could be anybody. You know exactly, what I mean? Everybody yeah. has it in them. But somebody that has killed as well, I feel like it's still hard to know. Because, yo, get a Navy SEAL in here. It's killed probably like 50 people. Yeah. And like, they'll probably talk to you like a regular person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're a killer, but like on different circumstances. Yeah. They would probably still talk to you like the same, no? Yeah, because at the same time, it's like if I was, if I, that happened to me, I probably wouldn't even like the the maniac in me wouldn't keep it a secret like i would slip up somewhere that's so i feel like up. i feel like fuck i should have rest up bro. i feel like i re- should have researched it more because there's definitely a hint there that that told everyone that fuck there's something going on like there's no way that he went through an hour maybe two hour talking oh, and he didn't slip there was this one moment i oh, remember shit. in the podcast there's yeah. this one moment where he was talking to joe rogan about how um i think this is part of the this is before he got in jail yeah but he said this is literally his words he's like um and I went up to him and he, he ambushed him with, I was with a couple of my boys, huh. Anderson, put the guns out and told him, yo, I knew he still owed me 5K. <laughs> he he went and he said, he took all his jewelry yeah, and we even robbed his girl, blah, blah, blah. blah. And okay. he's like, but I didn't care about it. Why? Because that's what he owed me, this and that. He was saying that on the podcast. Dorgan's just across from me like, yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I knew these guys weren't smart, fam. Yo, if someone owes you 5K, Come on, bro. <laughs> Yo, so what are you really he, doing? Bro, robbed him with a whole bunch of goons. Yeah. They even robbed the girl. But that, I think that's before he got locked up. Mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what he got locked up for. Because I didn't look too much into it. Like, I just seen clips here and there. Yeah. Leave down in the comments if you guys know the whole story. But it's just crazy to me that you could be on a podcast. Or you can be, like, <laughs> literally a couple steps away from somebody. That did all of this shit that you have no clue yeah, about. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, I don't know what you did today. Maybe, you, you know what I mean? You mm. could have done anything today. No, Spider-Man, low-key, I've like, never told nobody. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. See, I'm yo, <laughs> it was literally that. The whole time we were speaking and you you had this movie going, I didn't know. Yeah, like, you I kept it a secret still. Exactly. So, that's why secrets are dangerous. Yeah. But would you say, like, some secrets are, are, actu- to, are actually safer on yeah, because they're untold? Yeah. yeah, I will say that. Because, like, there's some shit that I'm... I'm going to take to the grave because it's like, yo, it's, it's kind of fucked up. Like, I wouldn't say something to their face that would make them hurt. You know what I mean? Because what's the point? True. That is true. Yeah. When it's not, like, constructive. When it's not going to, like... Exactly. Like, there's it no... It wouldn't help like, somebody. The only purpose of me telling you that secret is going to har- harm your feelings. Mm-hmm. I, I'll just I get that. I really get that stuff. So. Exactly. Or the white lies thing that I always do. Like, if, I'm, if I white lie to you, just to say, like, maybe be a yes man, yo, it might be good at the end of the day because it's fucked, like... I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. Keep doing your thing. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I think, like if you if you lie in the right way, yeah, fuck. But at the same time, you know what? I disagree. I caught myself there. What? I caught myself slipping. Really? I caught myself slipping because if you lie, mm. then people will think like that's that's your take on a certain scenario. Okay, yeah, I can I can kind of forge for that because back then, remember when um I had all the fake stuff and I, I used to lie a lot because I didn't have the stuff that I wanted. Mm-hmm. There was a reputation of me that whatever I said, that's exactly it's a reputation. Yeah, there would nothing would be believed by me. <laughs> so like <laughs> yeah, even if I open even man. if I open my it's mouth, the boy who cried wolf. Exactly, it's like that. Yeah, exactly. So if you I guys don't know what the boy who cried wolf is, is like is this boy that kept saying. Oh, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. <laughs> and there's no, no one wolf. <laughs> and the, no, they, he said it at first, and, and the whole squad came running through. The farmers had the pitchforks and everything. Where the fuck the wolf? Where the fuck the wolf at? Yeah. yeah. And the boys are like, oh, I don't know. He ran away. Yeah. There's no wolf. Ah, uh, got you guys. And said it again. Yo, there's a wolf. There's a wolf. Everybody came running through. And like, yo, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Like, you can do this to us. And then one day, the boy said he didn't say anything because uh-huh. there was a wolf right in front of him. And then he said, there's a wolf. Help, there's a wolf. Yo, nobody, <laughs> nobody showed up because this guy called out twice. Bro's in simulation. He got eaten. He's like, there's no way no, no mans are trying to save me right now. <laughs> he got eaten yeah. because he called wolf. But I think um, that type of thing, yeah, that reputation thing, yeah, that's a big deal, especially in, like, in life, just in general. Mm-hmm. Because, look, whether it be business, whether it be like career anything yeah your integrity with something 
it holds a lot of value, especially for that person that witnessed it. Mm -hmm. Because um, you could be a different person someday and yeah. change, but the person you showed to that person beforehand, before you change, yeah. that's all they're going to remember. Yeah. You know, until you have to prove it otherwise. Mm -hmm. And like, there'll be people that are very forgiving and, and see people out. But some people are very stubborn and like, you know, yeah, just they, not they, the best of nature. Yeah, most of the times, like 90% of the stories I hear about that was like, oh, he changed on me. But but when I really look at the story and look at the two sides, he changed for the better and he left. Mm. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be with your boy no matter what. You know what I mean? Because that's what you started with. If your boy was a serial killer, would you help him? No. What the? <laughs> I'm going, no, you know what? That's crazy. Because that's a crazy way to go out. Uh, right before you go to prison, you're on a Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> that is kind of like, crazy. Like, if that was, like, on a bucket list, like, say say you had, like, 24 hours to live. Like, Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> like, that's, that's kind of crazy, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yo, you would have been even crazier. Uh -huh. And this would definitely become a movie. If he said it on the Joe Rogan podcast, he said, Joe, <laughs> the end? hey, you know what? Like, I'm probably going to be arrested one day. And I just want to say it right here. Like, I have a, I have a body in, in my fucking freezer. There's there's a decapitated head right beside oh the pop tarts. <laughs> yo, if you said that at the end of Joe Rogan, yeah. mod, so mod, holy oh my, yo, shit, you know, and the, yo, that would be a movie. There, yo, there would be edits on TikTok like the Kung Fu panel. <laughs> <laughs> like Joe, there, there's fucking heads in my thing. <laughs> Look at my eyes. <laughs> Nah, the most fucked up. Travis yo, Scott, the, most, nuts. the most fucked up I've seen, fam. Yo, this generation is so fucked. There what? was a there's a Jeffrey Epstein Island uh what do you call this? Remix or like a like a edit. What like how? Like so imagine like look at my eyes and they would pan it to, to Jeffrey yo, Epstein like this and nah. this island is so fucked. So nah, fucked. what the heck? Damn, like oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> I'm very impressed with with uh, humor these days, though. Yeah, because it's still it's still getting darker. <laughs> it's so dark, fam. But you know what? I I notice people in the workforce, especially uh, like the millennials, say that they love working with Gen Z because Gen Z is very like uh, laissez faire. They just want to they just want to laugh at every moment. True. And and I get that because what do you do when like you know you're right, and, but an older head is is like trying to page you? You laugh it off. Yeah, you just laugh Damn, it off. I'm they don't take it serious. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that's our way of expressing. That is our way. Yeah. Because the other way would be like blah 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 blah. Exactly. We don't fight no more. We're just like yo, you you Whatever. do you. Yeah, <laughs> you, you do you still like look at my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that mentality of yeah. like um. I'm hurting this way and I have to hurt you mm -hmm. is 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 dying. That's like an old way of mind of mindset. Because yeah. nowadays everybody's more like, yo, let's take a look at why you're act acting like this. Mm. Which is great. Yeah. I mean that that's the way you, we fucking grow. Cause if we were still at that level of like, yo, I have this pain, I'm gonna give you this pain. And it just keeps continuing it, yo, the whole world is gonna be whack. Man. That ass, bro. The whole world is gonna be whack. That I heard this thing recently. Yeah. Cause I caught myself doing it, right? You ever, you ever like think about shit, and you go like, hmm, hmm. You know what I'm talking about? No. You hmm? go, hmm. Don't tell me there's a meaning. There's of a that. theory. No. There's a theory. Check this out. So if you go, hmm, when you're thinking, yeah. You know what it means? What? Take take it in, right? Hmm. So when you do, hmm. You're actually putting yourself on a vibration and a frequency to find out the next word. Mm. <laughs> just like, just like when people do yoga and they go, oh, okay. And just like when the hippies go, yo, bro. Yeah. Like it puts your brain on a certain frequency. You guys can test it right now. Right. Go, hmm. Your brain becomes active. Try it. Mm. I don't know if it came active. <laughs> Like what? I'm just gonna know some. No, no, no. Like it. So you know when you when you take an exam, you're supposed to you're supposed to chew gum. Yeah, yeah. It's something that stimulates your brain. Oh, okay. So it stimulates your brain in the right way, where it's not too much, mm -hmm. but it's enough for you to almost like a white noise. So you know those times. So you can focus up more. That exactly. makes sense. Exactly. Yeah. You focus up more, so it becomes the brown noise. If there's too much distractions yeah. and shit going on, then you're gonna be focused, right? Yeah. But those times where you're in flow state, do you ever really hear? No, I don't. Take that in, right? When people are in flow state, they don't actually hear what's going on. They, yeah. They're just in flow. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 
when you're in that state of like trying to think of something like a but it has to be natural it has to be real yeah like, mm, that's you like trying accessing, to act- accessing that frequency the flow state true. it sounds crazy but it, it's actually true but, but you know like when uh even if you say it in your mind or do you have to say it out loud because because sometimes i'll be thinking i'll be like but but like it's not coming out i like think a, i mm, think it has to be like mm, out loud i think it has to be like a like a, vla- a v- v- Word. you know, like a v- yeah, yeah. shit. Not everybody taking their test. Yo, everyone at the same time. Mm. Yeah. Everybody starts writing down the answer. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, mm. start doing it in your test and stuff. No, I, don't. No, no, dead ass do it. Because you might start getting the answer. You might start yeah. being able to think properly. Like, I don't know, bro. Try gum or try going. Mm. You're gonna have- it's just a meditation thing, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, fam. So, so a man that never studies goes. Mm. No, no, I'm no. saying, I'm saying shit like you already know. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, no. you're trying to like pick up on it. Yeah, you're yeah. not gonna fucking. Do- <laughs> mm. Forty-eight times two. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine just and it calculates. The teacher, <laughs> that shit calculates. Apple, just the Apple teacher, bro. just the teacher watching that that person do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> no, but it makes sense though, because it's like. Back then, I used to have a really bad, like, studying habit where my studying was not learning it. It was memorization. So there was one point I memorized. Yo, it was crazy. I was in my prime, like, studying. Yeah. So it was, I think, uh, uh, first year uni. That's when I took this shit serious. I memorized maybe half a geography book. Damn. So, like, I would I would read the words. Say, okay. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, shit. That's what you would do. And then I would read the other sentence. But that's harder. Fam, way harder. That's but I, harder. I didn't know. I didn't know as soon as like uh, second year, third year came around, there's going to be way more textbooks. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, I have to switch this shit up. Because, bro, I was literally learning the entire textbook. Yeah, you have to understand it. And that's after that thing. after that test, I don't know what the fuck I read. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. All that's I knew was, rom. blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to be like the ant farm girl. The, oh yeah, I don't need the, olive. The, yeah, olive. Oh my god, if I had olive's uh, power, I yo, I, for the longest time I thought it was like that too. Like you should, you yeah. should memorize, memorize, memorize. Some points, like I guess you do have to do it. Mm-hmm. But the real truth is like just understanding shit, and yeah. that's what I think is the true brains, is the true like wisdom and yeah. the true smarts. Isn't from being able to memorize stuff. Like anybody can memorize all of the countries in the world and yeah. you'll be able to spit it would you call that person smart i guess you you would at a yeah. first glance but if you say to another person like go understand every single country mm-hmm. and they will be able to tell you different things about it and actually understand why they are yeah then that's it's a real. different type of exactly. smart right you you probably know this though but you remember the toothpaste things like the different colors mm-hmm. you probably know why the the caps on the water bottles are different colors right the caps on the what? What do you mean caps? So like the the caps, like the color of the caps on every single water bottle. Are they just clear? Mean something? No, no, no. There's like green, blue, I said red, clear. What? No. For every water bottle you've ever drank, there's a clear thing. Damn. If we look at Aquafina, it's or clear. Fam. There's a blue cap. Go grab it. Hold on. No, but like yeah, there's there's other ones like Aquafina and like the Irish Spring is green. Really? Yeah. But there's meanings to that too. What? So I think like the the blue one. The blue one is like uh, spring water. The green one has a bit of chemicals mixed with, I don't know, it's a, it's a whole other uh, crazy thing. It's like the toothpaste thing. But every time I open a water, I swear it's clear. No, like the cap, fam. Hold on, look, look. I'll the top of the cap is it's like white plastic, no? No, bro. What the fuck am I tripping? Am I a Mandela effect right now? <laughs> I swear they're white. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll Unless you. you get like a green bottle, yeah? Like Perrier type shit? No, look. So, so why? Yo, do you know Sprite is clear? Like the bottle? Gr- no, fam. Yo, 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 yo. You're tr- look, fam. So, look. You know, see on these how some are green at the top, the caps. Oh. Some are blue. Some are white. Like, yeah, clear oh, okay, white. Okay, I see now. Yeah, I see now. So, you're right. Yeah, you're right, yeah. actually. So, the white means it's processed water. So, that's like that's like the, the ne- Nestle, all, all that stuff. Blue is for spring water. What has that? Aquafina. No, that's cap. No, it's not. Because Dasani's blue. Yeah, Dasani is spring water, fam. What the fuck? No, Dasani. that's tap water. No, no. Dasani's tap Dasani, water. No, no. Dasani's not tap water. It's, tap, it's purified water. That, it's that's, not why it has, that's why it has the taste, fam. Dasani's the only one with taste because it's spring. No, that's tap You're water. off, off a, a sour spring. Fam, I'm telling you, Dasani's tap water. The the white ones are Loki spring. The white ones, nah. Yeah, those are the ones that are. Spring. But they say, have you ever drank one with the green? Because that one, the green that's means like it's flavored. Yeah, 
that's like Perrier. Mm -hmm. it tastes like orange, but it's not because exactly. it's, it's orange. It's because it's like it's like what do you call? Yo, but what I say about Sprite, it's actually clear. Well, like not, what do you not mean the by drink, that? but yeah. like the bottles are clear now. You bag that? Yeah, it's always been like that. No, what are you talking about? It used to be green, fam. Like you couldn't see through it. No. No, it used to be green bottle. You don't remember Sprite coming in a green bottle? No, it always no Mandela. No, no, effect. look, look, look. This That's is a how mod Mandela no, effect. No, no, this, I'll, I'll explain it. Green cap. Yeah. Uh, a uh, transparent uh bottle. Yeah, but it's green. green. It's a green transparent bottle. No. Yo, when, fam? you're tripping. They they changed it though. They changed it. Yeah, it's clear it's a, now. I swear, it's always been clear though. No. <laughs> But it had the green, Man, the green label. You could you could spot out a Let motherfucking you could spot out a sprite quick time because buy the that's Coke. You're talking about you think about Coke. What are you talking Coke about? Coke is Coke is clear and red. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fuck, bro. We talking about Ryan Garcia too much, bro. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Look, it was this. No, I only remember. I'm gonna Yo, lie. Stop. I was, not even trolling. Not even trolling. Yo, stop. Not even trolling. You can't tell me you forgot the green bottle. I remember. No, the can. The can was green. You don't remember green bottle? No, but I, this is this right here. That's what everyone remembers. That's my. Yo, that's fuck. I'm not even capping too. Yo, you actually don't remember the green, fam? I, I've never. I oh, fuck. I'm trying to remember. Are you serious right now? Come on. Then that has to be super old. Then no. When did they change the this shit? Bottle. Yo, every Sprite bottle that I have in my house is clear. That's crazy. Maybe I'm just focused on the present. Maybe I did have one. There's most likely. Yeah, because because just recently I seen a clear Sprite. I'm like, yo, this Maybe trippy. I got used to it. Why are they doing that though? Why are they changing the, the I colors? I don't know. We, it was smart marketing before because if yeah. you take like an empty bottle and put them all in the trash, yeah. you know the green one's Sprite. Mm. You know what I mean? But nowadays like... They all look clear. So like, oh, it could be Coke. It could be whatever. I think the reason they did that, yeah, just really manufacturing to make it cheaper. Word. Because Sprite definitely had their own factory for just green bottles. You know what I'm saying? Green bottles, bro. That has to be super old, fam. Nah, I swear that's like, I'm not, not even, even trolling too. Ago, like, and I drink, the Sprite's my favorite drink. Word. Nah, bro. The, it, it's usually I green, fam. Or Mountain Dew's green. Yeah, simulation, least. bro. You know Mountain Dew's green? Mountain Dew. Yeah. Yeah, that's the green bottle. Mountain Dew is a green bottle for sure. Nah, we're in simulation. You ever had like cold red? The fuck is cold red? I never had it. Do we no. have that in Canada? Show me it. What's it's cold Mountain red? Dew? I don't think we have that in Canada. That's why I don't know it. I've never heard of cold red, low key. This. This. No. Oh, I've seen commercials on it, but I think that's in the States. It's in the States, right? Yeah. Leave it on comments if this shit is good. I never yeah. tried it. No, nah, we're in a simulation. I heard though. I heard like Mountain Dew. Because mm. growing up as a kid, fam, yeah. everybody used to tell me like, "Yo, don't drink that." Mm. Like, don't drink that because you, it messes with only, the sperm. Yeah, only adults can drink it because it would actually like kill your sperm. Yeah, bro. yeah. <laughs> and that was the only drink. And that was uh, the only drink I never like drank growing up. <laughs> I remember we were on the we were on the playground at recess, mm. and so I think somebody had like a vape when it was very new. Yeah, and like everybody thought that we were smoking like. Marijuana, fam. <laughs> like the, when someone took a puff of it, they would blow it out. Like everyone, whoo! He, he's a smoker. Oh, you, you like one of those small ones? <laughs> yeah, one of I remember that shit used to be so cool. It's not cool. Yeah, it's not cool. It's, it's not, not cool, cool no more. It's yeah. not cool no more. Though. Like, mm -hmm. if you're a little kid, just play Fortnite, bro. Exactly, bro. Don't even worry about that stuff. But yeah, it was so fucked. Like everyone thought that that shit was like yeah, back in weed. the day. Yeah, man. It's Apparently, like, like my my parents were telling me the equivalent of that before. The vapes, what it used to be, what? would be vapor inhaler, like vapor rub in Vicks. Oh, like just sniffing it? Yeah. Yo. Like they would have like Vicks sticks and sniff it. It's addicting. Eric does that. Really? Have, have you noticed? He he doesn't even have runny nose or anything. He'll go. He just does it. Yeah. I know. Yo, yo that's crazy. Bro. <laughs> Whenever he does it, that shit does look like a robot. Like, like why are you doing that? I seen some shit where it's like they take a a smell, a scent, and then they put it in a vape so it's not actually vape, it's just like a taste. Which really? is interesting because now it's not something you inhale. Yeah. It's just something you smell. Oh, really? Yo, go but, ahead. But that's that's most of it though. Yeah. If you bag it, like most of our scents from it yeah. would just be the smell. True. Which is smart. Yeah. Like, life hack. <laughs> <laughs> life hack, no. One fucked up prank that I seen was, uh, you know those uh, people that go around in public and like, Oh, I, I made this new vape flavor. Can you try it? Mm -hmm. So you know that uh, fart spray. Oh, that's, they put that's them, wild. They put it in the vape and they made them that's suck nasty. up the fart spray, fam. What? Isn't that's that nasty. toxic? 
That's terrorism. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, these pranks are getting wild. It's terrorism, bro. They, they <laughs> ran out of shit to do, fam. Holy I, shit. I don't know if we ever talked about... Um, Have you ever heard about Menugate? No. And have you ever heard of it? No. Really? So I don't know, because I... Not Pizzagate. No, Menugate? not Pizzagate. Menugate. I don't even know if this was a prank on, the, on like, society as a whole, but there was this TikToker, right? Mm-hmm. And his name was Cody. He lives in Atlanta. And he's in, like, an, an entire apartment, like, kind of, like, complex. Yeah. And he walks out of his building one day and he sees Chinese menus on each of the doors sticking out. Right? Yeah. So he goes on about his day, goes back in. Three days later, he goes out. The menus are still on every single door. Mm-hmm. So he's like, what the fuck? This so is nobody getting... opened their door. Yeah. So nobody, yeah, nobody opened the door. The neighbors haven't even come out. Mm-hmm. So a week goes by, fam. They're supposedly, supposedly supposed to be... 800 people in this apartment. Yeah. Why are all the menus still on the doors? So he's like, what the fuck is going on? I'm going to check down in the garage. Yeah. Goes down in the garage, sees that all the cars have a lot of dust on it. Oh, shit. He's like, he's like, yesterday there wasn't no dust on the cars. Yeah. So he's like, what the fuck is going on? So this is what he does. He posts, he starts posting some like Andrew Dawson video, no, like the Dawson videos. Yeah, yeah. He's like, guys, Look at what's happening in my thing. He's going live. Everybody tells him to pull a fire alarm. That's what will get people out. Mm-hmm. Uh, he searches. He goes to this random hallway, pulls it. Bam. Nobody goes Nobody out. Nobody goes out. So what is it? I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. Theory? Yeah. Yo, mod theory. Ready? It's a bunker. Like for what though? For people to stay in. So Maybe. they drive in, they make it obviously un- oh. like unsuspecting mm-hmm. and they make it seem like a lot of people could go there. Yeah. Different entrances. And yo, like they literally go down into the underground city that they have. Yo, this, this is Loki, uh, one thing that could prove it wrong because he, there's like this um, cafe Starbucks area that mm-hmm. they have in the, up, uh, the complex. Yeah. And he says whenever he walks by the, the, the coffee shops, there's always one man sitting with a suit on the phone mm-hmm. and on the Starbucks, on the Tim Hortons, they're all saying the same shit on the phone. What do they say? I don't know. But they're all saying the same shit on the phone. That's what that's what the video said. Maybe so, he's the experiment. Yeah, though that's that's the theory though. Everybody's saying that they're running an experiment on him if yeah. he would go crazy. <laughs> he's, he's the test subject, bro. Because imagine that happened to you. What else would you do? What he's would you the do? prank, man. Yeah. He's the prank, yo. He's the he's the prank. <laughs> yo, Matt TV just comes out. Yo. <laughs> would be so tri- that I would be tripped out. Yeah, yeah. But it would be so trippy if one day like he got out and then everybody opens the door at the same time <laughs> and then you just look at him. That's a fucked that's a fucked prank. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody at the same time opened the door and then they all stuck out their head like this. Man, holy shit. Nah, I'm going on Joe Rogan and killing myself. <laughs> I would trip out. Bro. Like my bucket list, go on Joe Rogan, jump off a cliff. <laughs> That's fucked. Oh, oh fuck. My God. Yo, you, you know they found um this is they they actually found it. Remember back in the day I used what? to talk about uh the dragons, how dragons might actually exist and the and then the fossils. Yeah. They just decomposed because the the feathers and the wings, they had different type of you know, bones compared to the body. Where they find it at, though? They found a real dragon skeleton. Like, damn, I think like last week. What the fuck? So dragons confirmed real. Yeah. Like dragons straight up real. Look, where, where, where? Let me see. I think it's in China, bro. But if you bag it, China's where they they had a lot of dragons, right? Because in the in the mythology of China, everything is what dragons, lucky dragon, red dragon. Wait, but if it's folklore and it's urban legend, wouldn't that be? That means it's not. Oh. That means dragons are actually real. Look, look, look. This is real. Is look, it? look, look. This is this is a real 240 million year old fossil. Holy shit! What the of hell? a dragon, straight up. Like they have dragons, bro. And In a wall? No, they found like the fossil. They found oh, the fossil that's of it. Mod. Yeah, it, yeah. That's a dragon. Yeah, <laughs> like. So they call it, they call it, like, the scientific name is the Dinophilus Rorus Orientalis. That's what it's called. <laughs> so dragons were dinosaurs then? No. Because okay, that could have been My just, theory, yeah. that was my theory, right? My theory was all the dinosaurs, feel me? They had wings. Yeah. But the, the wings just decomposed. So we can't tell they're, they're, di- they're dragons. Yeah. Because where the fuck? Hear me out. 
where the fuck do we hear about dinosaurs in history? Exactly. In in like mythology, mm-hmm. we always hear about dragons though. Yeah. Every single culture had something about dragons. Where's the dragons? But that I think that's why because it's like the people that, that were writing it. That's what they saw. So in their interpretation, or oh, if you see a pterodactyl. You might think that's a fucking dragon because you no, don't know what, but, what. But they didn't have the like T Rex and shit. Yeah, they did. Pterodactyls mean? had this. No, T-Rex what I'm saying are... the T Rex though. I'm oh saying, yeah, like, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, because they're probably just dragons, and then they had wings and stuff. Because the scientists even said they're more closely related to birds than they are to um to reptiles. True. Because in Jurassic Park and shit, we just we just think they're gonna be like, oh, they're freaking a big lizard. Yeah. yeah. But they're not. They're more closer to chickens. Mm. And what can chickens do? Fly? They have wings. They're probably... So dragons were literally like lizards. Not lizards, sorry. But big chickens. Yeah. They probably have feathers too, to be honest. Like the real dragons probably have feathers. Yeah. Just flapping around. Yo, I think too that that's why in every single like culture, they have the dragons and they all... Like if you look closely, the texture... It's not. It's not usually like scaled. Some of them have like furry features on them. Oh my god! Feel me? I wouldn't want to tra- time travel. Like if man's talking to me about time travel to that area, mm. to, I mean to that era. T- fuck no. I would like. I would want to see no, a dragon bro, though. That's no, kind of tough. That's man. dangerous. Bro. What do we have now? Actually, the low key, we have Elon Musk, the Antichrist. <laughs> Shut the fuck. <laughs> that's true. That's that's what I knew. Ryan Garcia was right. <laughs> I liked every post that I do. Was right. Okay, would you rather have like a, a robot or would you rather have a dragon? Okay, let, let, okay. Dra- would you rather have like a Gundam? That's <laughs> nuts. A Gundam's crazy. Would you rather have a Gundam or a dragon? Hi, Key. I would want a dragon. I would want a dragon. Right? Yeah, because yo. The Gundam makes more sense. Don't get me wrong. The Gundam does make more sense. Uh-huh. Because because dragon, you can low key kill off. Gundam is OP. Yeah, Gundam's OP. And like, how are you going to kill off Gu- Gundam except for um, electro shock, like the EMP? No, what, what if it's yours, though? Like, which would you rather have? Would you rather have a... Oh, like, to have... So you a, would have a Gundam? Oh, yeah, for 100%. Actually, I don't know. To, yo, 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 Dragon's more swaggy, yeah. so... <laughs> Dragon's more swaggy, like, fam. Like, like, you know me? Like, how I would do, like, a GTA custom? Like, I would rather have uh, a dragon instead That's of, like... That's tough, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give the dragon grills? Yeah. Are you crazy? You know a what I mean? Badass chain. <laughs> That's hard. That's fine. That's hard. Because I think if you had like a... What would be cool too if, if your Gundam could transform into a whip. So it would be just like a transformer. But that's lame though. Nah, that's not lame. No, nah, that's lame. No, nah, that's not lame. Relax. That's like Elon Musk. That's, like, that's not lame. Because cause then, then you could be like incognito or something. If you have a dragon, everybody fucking knows you. Yeah. You know I mean? like every, they know it's you, bro. They know it's you. I'm like, you're like top, sh- top G. You'll probably block. have to wear like a space suit when you fly with it. Yeah. It wouldn't even be comfortable, bro. What, uh, a real dragon? Flying on a dragon? That would be uncomfortable. Fam, how to train your dragon? Bro, was, bro looked comfortable. <laughs> nah. Bro looked 100% comfortable. Nah, that come on, bro. I don't know about that take, fam. I don't know about that take. That, you that just have to get uncomfy. used to... Oh, remember when all men were getting used to the... Oh, what do you call that? The Have you rode a horse, bro? Hundred... Horse is even uncomfortable. Yeah, it's okay. And then like... a dragon and scales and shit? No, everything gets taken used to. Like, Okay, keep this in mind. Yeah, what? All right. Put, put your hand on a fish. <laughs> me? Go grab a fish, bro. That's a dragon, pretty much. No, it's like not. the scales and shit. That's pretty much a dragon, bro. Get like one of those koi fish and, and then touch it like this. But if you're like up on the, in the avatar, you have a seat on it. Obviously, you would have like it's Minecraft. Like you put a, put the the leather seat on the pig. Like in every game, there's a seat that you you sit on. Come on, bro. I are you guess. just gonna fly on a dragon? Okay, without you no have seat? a good point. You have a good point. <laughs> how, how are you gonna like uh, push it around and shit? I guess you have a point still. You have a point. <laughs> I'm just rationalizing to be honest. You know, um, you remember that show Codename Kids Next Door? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I ever talked about that. Did, did I tell you this theory? No, let me let me hear it then. So there's a theory that show code uh codename Kids Next Door. Yeah. You know how it's like the I think it was like a couple of kids, I think there's five of them. Each one had a number. Right, okay. there was one with the bald, the bald kid with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. There's like the bigger kid. He had like the hat. Number two, uh-huh. number three was like um, he was the bad boy. Right, you remember? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the theory goes that that whole show, yeah, it takes place in their imaginations, but they're actually in a hospital, pretty much like in urgent care, what? and them 
going on all these adventures and pretending this shit is happening is for them to ease the pain and ease their boredom. Mm. So if you think about it, why are they all numbered? Because oh, of the, the hospital number? Because of the hospital numbers. Yo. Number one, number two, number three, number four. So number one had cancer. That's why he's bald. Oh. Number two is dying of, of heart failure because of obesity. Number three, the bad boy, yeah. he got stabbed before. Number four, uh, I think it was like something with abuse. Damn. But each one of them, they're going through some shit. And then that's why that's why they have numbers and that's why they they kind of like play all together. Yeah, so yeah. the code name, code name, where does code name come from? The hospital, oh. fam. Think about it. Code red, code blue. Oh, that's Code fuck. name. That's fucked. Code name. They're all in a different room. Kids next door. Kids next no, door, no, bro. That no, I fuck with that one. Crazy. That's, that's a crazy theory. Because fam, I watched that one. I think that was the one we watched when we were little. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then so all of those adventures they go on, they had to come out. It's almost that backyard again type of thing where they have exactly. to use their imagination to feel like they're free, but they're actually trapped in the hospital. So to have fun, they would just all come together and like talk oh. about stuff and go on these missions. I forgot how it ended, but was it like the Alice in Borderland ending where it's like he woke up and he's like, oh, I'm in a Wait, hospital. Wait, did that happen? Yeah. Wait, in Alice in Borderland? Wait, did that happen in the show? Mandela Effect? I swear I've seen something with him in a in a hospital gown, gown? actually. That might have been the ending then. It might have been a Mandela Effect. But No, that's a crazy but way to Al end yeah. a kid's film though, yeah. or a kid's TV show. No, they, okay, actually, no, never mind. I don't thinking, know. Thinking of a kid's film, I don't think it ended like that. Yeah, but th there's another, like, there's more going on to the thing. You know, number one that has, like, cancer? Yeah. The reason where he, he wears, like, sunglasses is because, like, he has something going on, too. Yeah. Because, you know, his eyes are, like, messed up. Whoa. Yeah, from the, yeah. Why is so much shit surrounding? That's why, that's why like, lines up. That's why yeah. it's weird, bro. So because like remember how everyone's saying that oh, Caillou had cancer and all of his shit was just a dream. Why why are they always why are they bald? Yeah, actually, well, why are they bald? That's what I'm saying. Or why is it always like in a negative light? Like someone has to, like this kid has to die. You know what? This yeah. is my theory. I think all of these stories they come from emotion, mm -hmm. and then that emotion is transferred into the art somehow. Mm -hmm. Like it could even be like a happy story. It could be like yeah. a sad story, but. Whatever that art was, there's a backstory to it. Word. Because, for, for example, like my film, some people might take it like, oh, this is a dark film. Some people might take it, oh, this is an inspiring film. Interpretation, yeah. It's just interpretation. But you know me and like, you don't know, I'm, I'm not really going through anything that crazy. Mm -hmm. Or am I? But that's the, that's the secret of it. And that's the beauty of the art is like, you can kind of get to see where somebody's at with it. Yeah. You it's, know? it's just like I seen someone where uh, some guy in your in the live chat, he's like, oh, this is a big foreshadow. May I didn't see the foreshadow. Maybe mm -hmm. he's seen something. Mm -hmm. And I, it's all everybody all sees something differently from a piece of art. And then that's what makes the art so special to that person. That's mm -hmm. why, like, I, I was having a conversation with a friend and they were saying, oh, what's your favorite films? Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh, uh, this, this, this. And he, he named like oscar type of films like mm -hmm. no bro tell me your favorite films like fuck everybody else like what do you like mm -hmm. and of course what the list was different yeah but every time somebody asks me that i always just give the straight up these are my favorites fuck the oscars fuck yeah, like yeah. critics or whatever these are what i feel and these are my favorite to me like and that's what matters because anything that you like you take what's great from it and then you go on with your life with it. Those, but everything else, like the the critic stuff, it's something that we can all agree upon, but it doesn't have to be the epitome of shit. It doesn't have to be the, oh, this is what should be the base. Yeah. This is what should be we look for. This is what nah, fuck everything else. Art is art, bro. You find out what you want, you make what you want, right? Like, how are you gonna find friends with similar hobbies when you're just lying about the shit that you like? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like I Oh, if I say, oh, Oscar number one, Oscar number two, fam, I'm not, I would never, you know what I mean, been friends with you because we don't like the same shit. Yeah, I mean? like, it's not about that. It's more about, yeah. the reason I like meeting new people too is because I get to see, and my favorite type of people are the ones that have like something very unassuming about them. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't think they're into that stuff Word. because of how they portray themselves here. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. It's fun. If you guys ever want like a side project, yeah. like literally go out and meet strangers and, and go like, all right, 50% chance that this guy listens to Travis Scott. That's crazy. And then like get to know him. Yeah. Oh, fuck, was I right? I guess I was right. When you all go right. to somebody else, like 20% chance this person listens to like blah, 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 blah. 
Like, oh shit, I was wrong. They actually listen to this. Right. Or they're actually into this type of thing. Mm-hmm. And it blows your mind because we have concerts of people in our head. Yeah. And that gets broken once you really get to know them. Yeah. That's in my film too. <laughs> yo, that's the goal. So, yo, since we're going to be at VidCon, I think it was June 26th to 29th. Yeah. If someone comes up to this and you're watching this, Come up to us with a secret fact about us, and we'll be like, oh, well, no, well, no. Oh, that's crazy! You know I mean? <laughs> like, oh, Carlos, you, you, you yo, like- okay, leave down in the comments right now. Yeah, leave yeah. down in the comments. What do you think is our secret guilty pleasure? Okay, obviously there's gonna be some jokes ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let us know what do you think our secret guilty pleasure is, just based on our personality. <laughs> but you have to give an ex- explanation. Yeah, there's if no- you don't, if you don't give an explanation, I'm it's not valid. It. <laughs> it's not valid. I'm deleting so it. So give an explanation and say something like you think we would be into. That's wild. Facts. All right. Thank you for watching the episode of Jump for Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Spider-Man rap is out right now. Go click right here. Go click that shit and go watch the film. Make sure to go down to our Spotify, Apple. Download those episodes. Keep downloading these, these episodes, guys. We love you guys. And yeah, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.